Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. In here we want to create a new plugin uh, called user rows. That's where we're going to get the rows to add here. Okay, so since the user rows plugin is going to be quite similar to the users uh, manager plugin, we're just going to copy and paste that one. And um, then we can change a few things here and there. So first thing we're going to do is go to our folder. So inside plugins, I'm going to open folder. And then there's a users manager here. So I'm just going to copy this and hit paste over here. So there's a copy here now. Let me rename it to uh, user rows, user dash rows. Okay, great. Let me close that. <clears throat> so now we have a new plugin here, user rows, but let's change a few things. For example, the config file needs to be changed. So let's change this one. <clears throat> user rows version one. Like that. Okay, everything else is fine. Uh, it works on the admin, everything good. Now this requires the basic auth plugin. Yes, because for we need that users table. Do we need the users table? No, we actually don't. We Wait a minute, we need our user ID. Yeah, so we can leave that in. Uh, basic oath may be required. Um, what else? Also the basic admin, the basic admin is required as well, just like with all the others it is required, but we don't need to put it there though. So we'll leave it as it is here. Let's go to the plugin thingy here. So the plugin name will change to user rows. A way for admin to manage user rows. Okay, so plugin route is, uh, here we can do user rows or we can just say rows. Maybe let's do that. User rows as the plugin route. And then here we need the users table, of course, but even these optional tables here, we need them. So for now, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Okay. So I'm going to omit this for now so that it doesn't shut down on me. Uh, here, we'll say we don't need this all here. Let's change that to row, view rows. We don't need this second one. Add row, edit row, delete row. Okay, that's good enough. And then the user permissions here. We don't need this part here because this should only be handled. In fact, this should be handled by the um, by the basic oath. Uh, wait a second. Let me save that. Once again, I'm gonna jump to the users manager for a second here. If I go to plugin PHP. I think this part here, where is this? This user permissions here should be handled by the basic oath because it's on every page. So I'm just gonna cut this, bear with me. Let's go to basic oath plugin, which is right here inside the plugin.php file uh, anyway. In the middle here, we're going to paste that like so. I think that will be good. Better served there. Okay. All right. Let's save this one as well. Uh, 
yeah now we may need some optional these guys and we don't need it here in the oh maybe we need it there i'll leave it there let's go to basic oath again where is basic oath plugin and let me put that here optional tables okay cool uh -huh. so let's make sure we haven't broken anything uh, let me come back here okay so nothing is broken now that we we have two links for users here let's fix that so i'm gonna close basic auth and users manager but this plugin in the user roles uh, here where we have plugin route instead of users here it's gonna be user roles like that and let's change our icon as well if we have font awesome here there's a lock there's lock open uh, unlock so I'm gonna use the unlock here let's see how that changes things okay so we have user roles and we have users now if you can see here there's this order where the user rows come first and then the user comes second now if you don't like that you can swap the order in which the plugins come in or if you want you can swap the order for this particular filter because 10 is the base so if i put this at 9 then it comes first but if i put it at 11 it will come in later so like here i can refresh and you see now they have swapped like that or you can load the entire plugin a bit later than the others by just going to the config here i can put it on index number four which will give exactly the same result because it comes in later so it depends what you want to do so if i click on user rows here that's what we get we get user rows but these are not user rows so let's get back to our plugin.php here huh. so there are controllers here add edit delete we should also add a controller for the view and you will see why in a moment another thing we need is to change the users manager user we need a different a rows uh, a row let me close this one so in the in the models here we don't need this model so the users model is obsolete so let me delete that from here it doesn't fit in this model same with migrations there are no migration files there okay so i think so far so good if i go to user rows yes okay uh what's happening i've deleted that model why are things still loading this shouldn't work here right no it should not users manager user hmm. okay seems it's still loading user rules okay whatever zeros database missing files blah 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 okay so let's remove these from optional tables to tables that are required like this that way we get an issue so let's make sure these guys exist so let's let me start with user rows so what I need to do is create a migration file. So here I will go to user rows. No, just the whole thing. Open folder. Copy that. I just wanted the link. So I'm going to do CMD. CD. Let's clear that. Now I'm going to do PHP Thunder and say make. What do I need to do here? We can make models, we can make um, 
we'll make a model for each one of the let's see let's say make model this is inside the user okay let's start with migration files doesn't matter really what you start with but uh, user roles and then now the migration files is going to be called user underscore rows. So that's what I expect the the table name to be named. So I'll press enter. Okay, so migration file created. I'm gonna press F3 to bring this back again. Um, what other table do we need? So there's user rows. Now if, okay, it won't change anything. So there's row permissions. Let me copy that. Okay, gotcha. Let's grab this one as well. User rows map. Press F3 to bring that back up. Okay, so we should have three migration files now created, and there they are. There's this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so class naming, uh, this is up to you. You could change this to camel case instead, but depending on your preference, right? So ID, let's try user rows. This one is okay. We have int, unsigned, auto increment. This is all right uh, for user rows. For user rows, we need one, a row variable character. So this is going to show the length, uh, the actual name of the row. Now, I doubt that you can have a row name that's longer than 50 characters, then maybe there's a problem there. But let's just put it at 100 just to be sure. And then the next thing we need we just need a row the id the row title and then whether it's disabled or not so instead of deleted i'm gonna say disabled so that if it's zero then it's act it's active uh, we don't need to know when these were created or updated this is useless information so we'll leave those two there like so and we will not need to add any of this stuff and we'll not need to add any data. Wait, you might want to add some data here. Uh, for example, the admin row. So let me move this out. Like so. So we add data here. This is the row. And the row is admin and disabled is zero the other thing no okay then we save inside user rows and then we close that so this is all we need for user rows that's done